Hi there, my craft and decor friends. Welcome back. My name is Sean. Today I have another incredible tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to make your own miniature hospital accessories for your Dr. Barbie. The best part is that they are going to be super easy to make and we're only going to need the materials that appear on your screen. So if you want to see the final results, stick with me. Let's take a look at everything we're gonna need for our first accessory. First, some wooden sticks like the ones you're seeing here. A couple of water bottle caps like these ones. Acrylic paints. Some fabric in different colors and textures. And some ribbon. Let's get started, friends! First, we're going to grab our wooden sticks and we need to cut four pieces of the same size. This is gonna be a cool wheelchair! Then, we need to stick the pieces with a tiny bit of clear glue, but do not align them perfectly. We want the both ends to have a small flap like this one. Now, let's grab this stick that is a little thicker and we're gonna trace two lines right at the same spots where both of Barbie's arms are. Then, we need to trim the stick right where we trace the marks. Ask for a grown-up to help you, because this step can be a little tricky. Look, here we have some pieces that we've attached previously. What we're gonna do is stick the thicker piece across the two other ones. This is what it should look like, friends. So next, we need to glue on the first pieces we made with the wooden sticks. We're gonna do it like this. Let's keep assembling our wheelchair, friends. We need to create some sort of squared frame at the sides of the chair. Then, we're gonna attach a thick stick like this one all around the chair. This is gonna be pretty useful for all the patients that Dr. Barbie is gonna be taking care of. And then we're gonna attach this round tube to the back of our wheelchair. Just a few drops of clear glue will do. Then we're gonna need some tiny pieces of the wooden sticks. Attach them together like this and then trim off the excess on one of the sides. We're gonna attach the two tiny pieces right on these two spots. They're gonna be the handles for our wheelchair. Now let's keep reinforcing the wheelchair. It has to have a firm structure for all those patients that are going to see Dr. Barbie. For the front part, we're going to use this thick stick. Let's put it over the chair and mark down where the chair posts end. Then we need to cut out with our scissors. Be super careful, friends! And with a tiny bit of clear glue, let's attach it to the front part of the wheelchair. Then, we need to make the foot rests. We're gonna use these thin sticks and we're gonna attach two small pieces at the end of each one. Then, let's glue on the foot rests to the chair. And this is what our wheelchair should look like, friends! Now, let's paint it with a tiny bit of jet black acrylic paint. Do not leave a single blank spot. And here we have the reel where our ribbon came. We need to paint it all black, like so. Then, we need to paint the caps as well. For the seat, we're gonna use this pink felt. All we gotta do is slide it through this part of the chair and then wrap it and fix it in place with some clear glue. Then let's do the same for the backrest. Then, we're gonna use these tiny pieces of felt to line the rest of the wheelchair, like the armrests or the handles. It's gonna look pretty neat. Now, there's only one thing missing. The wheels, so let's attach them. The wheels are gonna be for the rear wheels and the cups are gonna be for the front wheels. How awesome, friends! Let's move on to our next nifty idea. For this, we're gonna need a matchbox, a Barbie diadem, and some first aid images and logos. Let's start by painting our matchbox with some Arctic White acrylic paint. Make sure you paint the inside of the box as well. Then we're gonna grab the diadem and we're gonna paint it all white, like this. This is gonna be a sweet first aid kit, so let's attach the diadem to the matchbox, because it's gonna be the handle. Use a little bit of clear glue like so. 
Our first tape kit is almost ready. We just need to attach the logos we painted with some clear glue. Wow, it looks pretty cool, don't you think? For our next neat idea, we're gonna use a few silicone sticks like these ones, a few pins, and some acrylic paint. Let's get started! We're gonna make a cool stethoscope for Dr. Barbie! First, we need to make the shape with our glue gun and an acetate sheet. Then we need to make the part that doctors use to listen to your heartbeat. It is called a diaphragm. How neat, friends! Once it dries, remove both pieces very carefully from the acetate and use your scissors to trim the excess of glue and give the stethoscope a nice shape. Here we have two pins that we're gonna use for the stethoscope, but first we need to cut out the pointy ends with our pliers. Just like this. Then, grab this small piece of the pin and stick it to the sides of the stethoscope. How neat, guys! And on the other end, we've stuck a pin as well. And now we're gonna touch the diaphragm. For the parts of the stethoscope that go to the ears, we're gonna apply a tiny bit of hot glue to make it look more realistic. Then we're gonna paint the parts we've made with silicone with a little bit of jet black acrylic paint. Our stethoscope is almost ready. We just need to add some silver details with this neat metallic marker. Now Dr. Barbie can listen to her patient's heartbeat. And for our next accessory, we're only gonna need a face mask like this one. This is gonna be a sweet doctor face mask. So first, let's cut a small piece that fits Barbie's face. Then, let's take out the elastic and tie it to the piece we just cut. And the doctor face mask will be ready. It was super easy to make! For our next accessory, we're only gonna need some wooden sticks like the ones you're seeing here. Let's make a cool digital thermometer for Dr. Barbie. First, we need to cut out the shape from one of our wooden sticks like so. Then, we need to use this nail file to smoothen out the surface and get rid of all the splinters. Next, we're going to paint it with some Arctic white acrylic paint. And with a permanent marker, we're gonna draw the details of the digital display. Then, let's use a metallic silver marker for the bottom, just like this. And with an ultra fine point marker, we're gonna paint the tip blue. Our digital thermometer is almost ready, guys. We just need to paint some cool numbers on the display so Barbie can know her patient's body's temperature. For our next cool idea, we're gonna need more silicone sticks. Some pieces of straw like the ones you see here. And the back part of some plastic earrings, like these ones. Let's make a cool syringe for Dr. Barbie. First, we need to unfold this paper clip and stick it inside one of our straw pieces, just like this. And on an acetate sheet, we're gonna apply a tiny bit of hot glue and attach a small piece of the paper clip. This is gonna be the tip of the syringe. Then, for the bottom part of the syringe, we're gonna apply some more clear glue on the acetate. And we're gonna stick on this small piece of straw. And with one of the earrings back, we're gonna give the syringe the same shape as the ones doctors use in real life. Just stick it in like so. And with some more hot glue, we're gonna seal the bottom part of the syringe, like these friends. For the needle, we're gonna cut a pin with our pliers. Be very, very careful, friends. Then let's apply some hot glue on this side of the pin. And stick it to our syringe. Wow, it looks super realistic, don't you think? Now, we just need to assemble the syringe. All you gotta do is stick the back part like so. How neat! And to make it look super realistic, we're gonna use an ultra fine point permanent marker to draw the marks on the syringe. For our last awesome accessory, all we're gonna need is some fabric. 
We're gonna make something that Dr. Barbie cannot be missing. A white coat. So let's use this robe as a stencil and we're gonna trace its shape on a piece of wet fabric. Then we need to cut out two of the shapes we just traced. You can fold the fabric like we're doing here so you can cut out both pieces at the same time. Then apply some glue along the edges, except for the ones at the bottom, and stick both pieces together like so. Now we need to cut out a hole and the shape of a V for the neck and the lapel of our sweet white coat. And being very careful, we gotta cut an opening all along the chest area. Try to go as straight as possible, guys. To create a neat lapel, all we gotta do is apply a tiny bit of clear glue and fold this section of the neck like so. It's gonna look super cool! Look friends, we've got out two small rectangles from the white fabric and we're gonna attach them to the front part of the coat to make the cool pockets. And for the final detail, we're gonna attach this cute front pocket right to the chest area. Now all the accessories we made for Dr. Barbie are ready! And that was it for today, friends. Here we have all the incredible miniature hospital accessories we made for Dr. Barbie. Look, we made an awesome wheelchair for all her patients. Then we made a super handy first aid kit. And then take a look at all the neat accessories she has on here. Let us know in the comments below which was your favorite. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for more fantastic videos. Don't forget to give us a like and that we love you so much. See you next time. Bye bye.